Who is it? It's me. You can come in. Pardon me, JJ. I know you was chilling and relaxing, but I have to put you on to these products. So, have you heard about Part of My Fro? Part of My What? Girl, let me put you on. So, Part of My Fro is located at your nearest Walmart, Target, Walgreens, and CVS. And I heard that it's created by a black woman that has an eye for empowering women from all over to love and embrace their natural hair, which is what we all need in today's society. We need to see more representation in stores. Part of My Fro is a a great representation of black empowerment and this is seen from the quality of their products their packaging like what this is so fire like i see me and her and that's what we need a black owned brand that caters to us yes girl pmf is a lifestyle brand that makes me feel so fresh so funky and very fierce oh my gosh i literally have to try their products like let's go to target like right now It's been a, exactly, wait, when was the last time I washed my hair? I don't know. Hmm. It's been a minute since I've last washed deep condition and moisturized my hair. This is how the hair is looking. I took down my braids like almost two weeks ago and it's just been in, I don't know what these is. My hair is matted, it's dry. Did not do this, cause I don't know what's going on. <sighs> I wanted to know when the last time I washed my hair though. Wait, May 18th? It's been a month and some change. I typically like to moisturize my hair underneath my protective styles with like my oils, like Jamaican black castor oil. But I didn't do that this time. So my hair is completely dry. I did restyle my hair within this time frame. I had a photo shoot, so I had to restyle my hair for that. And that was like two weeks ago. You guys already know the drill. If you did watch my natural hair wash day for hair growth, I'm just gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna detangle my hair outside the shower and I'm going to use whatever conditioner is under my sink because i'm not really specific and picky when it comes to detangling my hair i don't know why i've waited this long to like wash and restyle my hair we have to come up with a new creative different braid style because this video is sponsored by part of my fro i'm going to be using their braid style bundle products to do a creative braid style on my natural hair so oh y'all this is tangled yeah, I'm excited for this video. I guess let's get started. I'm gonna do the back first and then just work my way up towards the front of my head. So this is my spray bottle. I'm going to pour this old water out and I'm going to put some warm water in here and I'm also going to put a few drops of my meal oil just with some extra moisture. So as you can see the shoes dry. I'm just gonna shake it up, 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 shake it up. And then just spray my hair. She's dry. I actually need like a clip. I got my clip. Now I'm gonna section off my hair. This is going to be one section and this is going to be another section. I'm gonna split this section into like two sections and then same for this section. So today I'm going to be using Kento's avocado conditioner to detangle my hair. Um, I've used this conditioner plenty of times and I actually brought this conditioner because it was only one dollar. I'm just going to put that all over my hair. And like I said, I'm going to split this section into two sections. Grab my clip, clip that on up, and then I figure detangle as I stated in my previous natural hair video you want to make sure you gently detangle your hair from ends to roots you just want to be very gentle overall oh my hair is itchy then i'm going to spray it again so this is the amount of shedded hair from this small section 
my roots it gets really really matted and it's because my hair is literally so thick like it feels like a, a soccer field if that makes sense like i have to really get in my roots for real, for real. i'm gonna put some conditioner to loosen up the tangles I just don't have enough words to give you the praise you deserve it's about that time i take a deep dive and i go all in faith like i'm walking on water i better not fall in I think this is the hardest process. Well, not hardest process, but this is the process that takes the longest because you have to thoroughly finger detangle just so your hair can be free of knots and tangles. All right, this is the rest of the shedded hair just from this small section. I'm basically going to repeat the same steps and process all over my head. My natural hair routine isn't different. I typically like to stick to my natural hair routine. I don't like to do anything different. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep the routine consistent so my hair can continue to grow and just feel at its best so yes dd my hair i've been receiving some comments on my like videos saying how a half wig isn't my natural hair and i just have to like agree with you guys because it's not but like my real natural hair is so much similar to this length and i use that wig literally as my protective style you know what i'm saying and i think that you should do the same i don't really feel no type of way when like people be like oh that's not my natural hair i just want the saw to stay out of our real natural hair for real for real so our hair can grow we are always in our natural hair and i just think that it's important to just give your hair a break and leave it alone for real for real i need to get you a natural hair wig because it has changed my life and i think that it could change yours too now granted i did get this natural hair wig for free so definitely just try to put it in your budget i don't know if my code is still active but you can get some type of discount on the half wig if you use my code. I have a tangle right here and this is why it's important to finger detangle because if you just brush through that tangle, like you're gonna break your hair off. So this is where the tangle is at. I don't know if you guys can fully see. I'm on my iPhone camera, so please bear with me. This section probably took about 10 minutes to detangle. All right, so this section is thoroughly finger detangle and then i just went in with my brush to finish the detangling process and this is how my hair looks um so now i'm just going to twist it up shrinkage is definitely real mm -hmm. i'm just going to twist this section up and then just repeat the same steps all over my head i'm so excited to blow dry my hair i'm not going to do it in this video it's going to be like in my next natural hair video so i'm excited to see the growth because i feel like she's growing It's finally, finally over. I think I started at around one o'clock and it's three o'clock, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna put the right time. I'm not switching up my products from the last wash day. Wash day is complete. Wash day was super fun and you want to know why? It's because we was having a whole music concert in here. Like I love wash days. I love to just play my music out loud. I love me some old school. I love me some 90s music. So now it is time to moisturize our hair with my everyday. Well, this isn't my everyday, but this is my holy grail. I say this all the time. This leave-in conditioner, it leaves my hair feeling so soft 
and moisturize for a very long time and if you are new here i am on a hair growth journey we are protective styling and so i like to split my hair into two sections this back section is going to be strictly doodle braid going in with my shea butter and then just putting it all over my hair. I really, really, really love shea butter. I got this shea butter from a vendor at FAMU. I'm going to just repeat the same steps all over my hair. Alrighty, so wash day is officially over. I moisturized my hair off camera because my phone died. So we're going to just do our hair tomorrow. We're going to start off on a fresh, clean slate. But wash day was so fun today. I think I started like around 1 and it is now 10 o'clock. This is your encouragement to blast your music while you doing your hair because it just keeps you busy it keeps you entertained or you know you can watch your favorite show but like for me i really really love music i haven't been really listening to old school as much lately so today i just turned it on and i had a good time so yeah but i'm gonna go to bed and stop talking because i can like literally talk here behind off adios i'm going to sleep okay three two one okay now alrighty it is the next day this is how my hair is looking my hair is all moisturized she's all detangled she's all nice and clean but it is now time to style my hair my hair is already parted from my last previous braid style so all i have to do is just figure out a design to do in the front now the parts are not the most neatest it is not neat at all but like it's gonna do because like when you put the half wig on nobody's gonna see the parts but you guys already know the drill i'm gonna do this side with you guys and then i'm gonna do this other side on tiktok so like i said i already moisturized my hair and now i'm gonna use their braid gel to cut my hair and stuff yeah. it has that same citrus scent and this is the consistency um it's not too firm it actually feels moisturizing and so i'm excited to just put this on my hair but this is how it looks okay so like i said i don't know what hairstyle i'm about to do i just recorded a tiktok video call me crazy but i think that this hairstyle is achievable to do so let's recreate it together this is the behind the scenes of my hairstyles like i do not know what hairstyle that i'm going for i don't be having no type of ideas or inspiration when it comes to like my hairstyles i do whatever comes to my mind <laughs> so so i guess i always start off my hairstyles by parting my hair i'm going to clip this grab this braiding gel and it actually feels moisturizing do i want to do a rubber band hairstyle it has to be different I think I probably want to do a hairstyle that I did once before. Last year when I was working at Disney, I'll put the video and inspo right here. But I think I want to try to recreate that hairstyle and then like just put go accessories. I don't know what we got going on here, but I guess it's going to be like a, a box braid, if that makes sense. So I'm going to braid going from the side, going down to the side again, and I'm going to braid coming back here. And I guess this is going to be in a bench now. So I guess, it, yeah, I don't be knowing how my hairstyles is going to turn out. Like, I just honestly, I'll be doing stuff, to be honest. Like, my sister was talking about this the other day of how, like, I just be doing random stuff to my hair. And people be like, oh. Wow, that is so thoughtful that is so creative and yeah i really just be doing random stuff <laughs> like uh, i don't know I keep it friend memories give me the strength i need to proceed the strength i need to I my beads i like gold accessories in my hair like i really really love the golden look so i'm gonna try to find some gold beads to put in this spray and then wrap it up and then turn it into a bench knot i can't wrap it up into a bench knot so i'm just going to wrap the braid around the bead oh, 
Now I'm gonna braid in the opposite direction. I want the beat to go this way, if that makes sense. This is what we got so far. One more braid. You guys know that I love Benton knots, but I'm gonna do this side off camera. I'm nervous, but we got this. Alrighty, so this is the final look. Final look. I think when my braid out dries, I'm gonna just wear my real natural hair out. This is the final result. I'm gonna just spray this hydrating braid and scalp spray. And then go in with the oil. Just run that all over my braids. Just to wrap up this video to give my final thoughts on all of the products. So my most favorite thing about this gel, like it actually felt moisturizing on my hair. You know like that dry feeling you get from like pomade, like shining jam for example. This doesn't give that dry feeling at all. It gives you a strong hold while also moisturizing your hair if that makes sense. So I would give this product a 8 out of 10 and then I went in with their hydrating spray and scalp spray. I'm going to continue to use this spray as these days go by. This spray says that it's supposed to protect and refresh your hair. So like I said, this is definitely going to come in handy. You guys know I like to leave in my protective styles in for about 2 to 4 weeks. So I'll continue to spray this spray as these weeks go by. Next I went in with their hair and scalp oil and I'm just going to continue to use this this oil as these weeks go by like i said so these two products is definitely going to be on my bathroom sink so i won't forget to <laughs> actually oil up my hair and refresh my braids i would give these two products a 8 out of 10 as well and then lastly i just went in with their edge booster with their edge control and i let my edges sit for about 5 to 10 minutes and I don't know maybe my face is greasy i'm not sure but my edges did lift up just a tad bit i think this is my most favorite out of all because i'm always braiding up my hair and this is definitely going to come in handy y'all comment down below and let me know how you guys feel about this braid style <laughs> like i said girl i just be doing random stuff so hopefully you like it i like it but do you like it that's the thingy if you guys did enjoy watching this video don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you are new thank you so much pardon my fro for sending me these products to try out i really love the outcome of this braid style like i really 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 like it this half wig is covering up the braid style but like i said as these suits go by i'm gonna snatch this half wig off and then just throw my natural hair in a braid out overall i gave this bundle a 8 out of 10 and i'm so curious to test out their conditioner and shampoo and you can find pmf at your local target i don't think that they have their gel at target so you will have to go on their website and i'll also have their website in the description box down below comment down below let me know if you have any questions and what else natural hair videos that you want me to film but until then i love you god loves you and we're gonna see you in our next video Bye -bye.